It's another Wesley Wednesday with Pastor Dave. Today we're sharing a message from the Methodist Church of Great Britain for the 250th anniversary of Bishop Francis Asbury's missionary journey from England to America in September of 1771. I hope you enjoy listening, and I'll be back next Wednesday. On the 7th of August, 1771, the conference began at Bristol in England. Before this, I had felt for a year and a half strong intimations in my mind that I should visit America, which I laid before the Lord, being unwilling to do my own will or to run before I was sent. Francis Asbury grew up in Great Bar. And after a difficult childhood, he began his ministry as an itinerant preacher. He had been appointed to several circuits around England, but he had begun to feel that God had a different call on his life. So, when at the Bristol Conference in 1771, John Wesley made a request for preachers to go to America, and Asbury volunteered. However, this decision came at a cost. From Bristol, I went home to acquaint my parents with my great undertaking, which I opened in as gentle a manner as possible. Though it was grievous to flesh and blood, they consented to let me go. My mother is one of the tenderest parents in the world. Many of my friends were struck with wonder when they heard of my going, but none opened their mouths against it, hoping it was of God. Some wished that their situation would allow them to go with me. At the beginning of September 1771, Asbury sailed from Pill near Bristol. On his journey, he began writing his journal. Thursday the 12th. I will set down a few things that lie on my mind. Whither am I going? To the new world? What to do? To gain honour? No, if I know my own heart. To get money? No, I am going to live to God and to bring others to do so. If God does not acknowledge me in America, I will soon return to England. I know my views are upright now. May they never be otherwise. His parents still struggled to accept this bold choice, but Asprey continued to write to them and pray for them. These are to let you know I have not forgotten you. And though so many months absent and so many miles distant, still my love and care are toward you. I often think of you and many times pray for you. I cannot comply at present with your request. However, you may depend on it. I will come home as soon as I can, but he that believeth shall not make haste. Asprey knew that he was following God's call and trusted that God would provide for him in America. I wonder sometimes how anyone will sit to hear me, but the Lord covers my weakness with his power. I trust you will be easy and more quiet. As for me, I know what I am called to do. It is to give up all and to have my hands and heart in the work. I am content and will do it. Nay, it is done. Christ is all to me. I love my parents and friends, but I love my God better and his service because it is perfect freedom. Asbury believed that he would be in America for just a few months, but he did not ever return to England. Not long after he arrived in America, Asbury wrote, 
I humbly hope before long about seven preachers of us will spread seven or eight hundred miles and preach in as many places as we are able to attend. Lord, make us humble, watchful and useful to the end of our lives. Asprey's prayer was answered. He continued to preach across America until almost the day he died at the age of 70. Asprey brought Methodism and the gospel to thousands of Americans and his legacy is celebrated. In the UK, Asprey may be less well known, but he still inspires Methodists today. I've lived in Pill for over 50 years and it was um, quite a while after that that uh, the memorial stone was installed and I learnt about Francis Asprey. I was very impressed that a man could be so immured with God and be so strengthened by his religion to go to America and do what he did. I think the thing that inspires me about Asprey is his dedication to, to what he did, that he was being called to go out into the unknown. It was very unlikely that he would ever come back. He didn't know what, exactly what he was being called to, but he went anyway because the call was so strong. But to leave his parents and his family behind and to go completely into the unknown, that's true faith in, in God. I inspired by his, his love for Christ and how he, he's encouraged so many people. I'm very proud to be in, in this particular church in Pill because I am very proud of what Francis Asprey did. To think that a man like Francis Asprey sailed from this humble little village of Pill and went to America and opened up a huge church. And I think to myself when I go now, I think, well, Francis Asprey started all this. What a wonderful legacy is left. So you need to show up with